Hi, I'm Sean Toomey from Posme Media, and in this video, I'd like to talk about WordPress.com versus WordPress.org. Now, you've probably heard of WordPress. WordPress is an open source content management system used to create websites and manage the content on those websites. Now, WordPress is currently powering 30% of the entire internet. And among the most popular content management systems, it's the outright favorite. Now, why is it so popular? Let me give you seven reasons. Number one, it's open source and free to download and use. Number two, it's powerful. You can use it to build small, simple blogs, or you can build large e-commerce stores, membership sites, or whatever sites you need. Number three, it's well-maintained and supported by a committed team of developers. Number four, it's stable. The development team regularly releases major updates and security patches. Number five, it's user-friendly. It's really simple to use compared to many other platforms and website builders. Number six, it's extendable and scalable. You can start small and expand your site as it grows. And last but not least, number seven, it's SEO optimized. So for search engine optimization, WordPress is well optimized right out the box. There are a few tweaks that you'll wanna make, including updating your permalink structure and optimizing each individual piece of content. But the foundations are solid for your content to be indexed by search engines and found online. Another thing is that Google has also decided to partner and invest in fast-tracking the development of WordPress with the aim to jumpstart the platform's support of the latest web technologies, particularly those involving performance and the mobile experience. So I personally use WordPress for my own sites and my client sites, and I recommend WordPress to anybody wanting to launch their own website. But, and this is a big but, there is one important distinction to make which confuses many people that are just getting started with WordPress. And that is understanding the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Now, if you have a look at their logos, <laughs> you can well understand why people get confused. Now, let me explain to you in simple terms what the difference is. WordPress.com and WordPress.org both use the exact same technology, which is WordPress. But WordPress.com is a hosted solution and WordPress.org is what we call a self-hosted solution. And there is a big difference between these two options. And you want to make sure that you pick the right option for what you need. Now, WordPress.com lets you easily create an account and set up your own WordPress site and start publishing content right away. Your domain name will be something like yourname.wordpress.com and the hosting of your site will be taken care of. But on WordPress.com, you'll be locked into their framework. You'll be able to start for free, but you'll need to pay extra for additional add-ons like using your own custom domain name like yourname.com. You'll need to pay extra to remove ads and remove the WordPress.com branding. You'll need to pay extra to monetize your site using the WordPress.com ads platform. But you won't be able to do whatever you like in terms of customizations. And when it comes to selling your products and services on your website, you need to make sure to abide to the terms and services of WordPress.com. Now, WordPress.org, on the other hand, refers to creating a self-hosted WordPress site where either you or your chosen hosting provider hosts your website and you are free to do whatever you like. And this includes using your custom domain name, adding additional functionality via plugins, themes, and using your website to ultimately sell your products and services. So in summary, if you're creating a hobby site or a personal blog, something casual that you don't really want to monetize and you want to get started for free and you want it to be quick and simple, then WordPress.com is your best option. But if you're creating a business website or a personal branding site or any other site that will be used as part of a commercial venture or organization and you want to have the freedom to create whatever you need, then definitely make sure to go with a WordPress.org self-hosted site. If WordPress.com is what you need, then head over to that site and set up your account. The process is really straightforward. And if you need a self-hosted WordPress site, then there are two options that I'd like to explain to you. Option one is essentially to do it yourself. You would need to sign up for a hosting plan to host your website. I use and recommend DreamHost if you're just getting started. If you go to posmemedia.com forward slash DreamHost, then you can sign up for their shared hosting plan. I made a separate video providing an in-depth review of why I recommend DreamHost, and the link that I've shared with you is my affiliate link. So to be completely transparent, if you sign up with my link, then I get a small commission at no expense to you, and I'm happy to answer any of your questions. I've also created a separate step-by-step -step video tutorial explaining how to install WordPress inside of your DreamHost account. So definitely make sure to check that out. But then there's also option number two. And this is if you don't want to figure things out yourself and install your own site, then I have a special offer for you. At Posme Media, we provide free WordPress site setups if you host your site with us. 
And if you prefer using your own hosting account, then we charge $197 for setting up your site. For the free installation and setup option, all you'd need to do is pick one of our managed hosting plans, starting at $19 per month, and we'll get you set up within 24 to 48 hours. Our WordPress installation and setup includes the following. Number one, we install the latest version of WordPress. Number two, we add security measures, including salt keys, a table prefix, and user security. Number three, we configure the settings of your WordPress site, including setting up your URL structures and your search engine visibility. Number four, we install a theme of your choice. Number five, we install our list of must-have recommended plugins. This is optional, so it's up to you. Number six, we set up one or multiple admin user accounts based on your preferences. Number seven, we then email the access details to you. And number eight, importantly, going forward, we do provide email support to answer any of your questions. We also offer a WordPress maintenance service at $39 per month, and this includes weekly cloud backups, monthly site checkups, theme and plugin updates, cache setup to speed up your site, and ongoing malware monitoring. If you're interested in the special offer, then do get in touch with us so we can get your site set up as soon as possible. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You can find the links I mentioned in the description below. If you found this video useful, hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Sean Toomey from Posme Media, wishing you a great day, and I'll chat you soon. Cheers.